Born in Switzerland. Uh, so your your blood <laughs> is with the Swiss team. Brudelin, Kornfeld, Ricci. Italy came through the rounds. First one was a bye. The second was a 2-0 win over France. 2-1 against Denmark in the next round. They beat England 2-1 and had a 1-1 draw. But the third match goes in their favour against Turkey. Switzerland came through the rounds with a bye in the first round. A 2-0 win against Croatia. Then 2-0 against Sweden. 2-0 against Slovakia and a 4-0 win, uh, a win against Bulgaria in the fourth round. Tomas Muller opens the first match. The referees rotate after each match. The first one, Switzerland in blue. This is Kornfeld. Kornfeld. She, she lost it, uh, for the third place this morning. So um, I'm sure she, she will do the best to get to win this uh, match and to take advantage for Switzerland. So it's very important to, to open the score for the team and uh, now we have the counter. Kiakutski to the face of the Italian and uh, the Switzerland is an advantage to 1-0. And she'll receive the Yuko uh, and the central advantage because it's still, it's still valid in team as in the individual. So we have Kornfeld leading for Switzerland in blue against Ferracucci Ferracucci for Italy has a minute to get back on terms starting to put a bit of pressure there nice. good counter punch nice. there from Kornfeld Ferracucci was first and get the Yuko Ferracuti now has a Yuko on the scoreboard. The only difference between the two is that Sensu advantage held by Kornfeld. Yeah, another Kiakutski from Kornfeld. But uh, there was also in the same time the counter of uh, Ferracuti, so we are on 2 2. And it is 2-2 two, two on the board. Only difference is the century advantage still held by Kornfeld. Twenty-two seconds. Ferracucci <laughs> now she has to work hard to Try to get another good score. She pushes her opponent out of the tatami. Kornfeld steps out, so it's in the last eight seconds. She'll now lose the Sensu advantage. But there has been, at the same time, a challenge from the Italian coach for Ferracuti. But it's been rejected by the video review panel. And now it is 2-2 at the end of the bout because Sensu has been lost by Kornfeld. There was a good Zuki there yeah. from Ferracuti. But also from but Kornfeld. Also from Kornfeld. Again, they are on the same time, but uh, there's no more video review. No chance for a video review challenge from the Italian coach. But Kornfeld now has three points onto the board. She's got three seconds left and takes the win. Now, I think the Italian coach is going to be really kicking himself a little bit because he called that challenge a little unnecessarily yeah and then he lost the opportunity to do so again didn't he dominic but you you don't know in advance of course if, the, no. if you will have a second chance but uh, it was a 
an important win for Kornfeld because she lost, like I said, for the third place this morning. And now we have uh, Elena Carucci for Switzerland in Elena blue. She Carucci, comes out yeah. at number two. Laura Pascal for Italy. Pirici, she won the title this morning in the minus 68 kilo. Video review challenge. The referee has to stop the match. <coughs> that is rejected. Francisca Marquez, a new referee Spain, from Spain, gets them back on the way, no score, the video challenge was rejected, there's a Jordan Zuki over the top from Pascal, and then she goes Chudan, looks like Carici holding on there with both hands, in fact it's Pascal who's going to receive the warning, and indeed yeah. Carici, so both are on Chikoku. The second of three matches, Switzerland leading with one win at this moment in time against Italy. Pascal trying to force Carici out, who turns cleverly, comes back onto the tatami. Oh, that was a clever tactic there. Yeah. From Carici, she drew in Pascal, who went for the kick. Just uh, waiting for the score to be awarded. Who now receives the Senchu advantage, so is Carici for Switzerland. But if the video review challenge here for Pascal is correct, then the Senchu advantage will have to be taken away, but it's been rejected. Yeah. So it is Carici who still has that score, and she has the Senchu advantage. So it's Switzerland leading with a clear win in the first bout. This is the second one, and they're also leading one Yuko to zero against Italy. This time, Carici's turn in the corner using both hands has been to the cost of a second warning now this time fast though that pascal time was in. pascal great score pascal was in yes <laughs> so now it's one point each but we have the advantage of the thing two. 35 seconds left so everything can happen so Italy has to to take the risk now because if, not, if, she, uh, if they lose this match, they lose the title. Yeah. Pascal desperately lunges forward into the last 22 seconds, and it is Pascal who has a kick warning. She goes over the top. Carici ducks low. Yeah, Pascal was holding again, so with the Hansa Pichui. Moving into the last 15 seconds, there's the signal for Atoshi Beraku. Still, the score is 1 1, and it is still Karichi leading 1 0. Receives a category 1 warning. Pascal desperately tries to go in, she tries to shoot Anzuki. Karichi cleverly moves up to the side, comes over the top. Four seconds still on the clock. Look at the desperation of her teammates here, and there's a further contact violation. Now, interestingly, with Category 1, they don't lose Senchu. So perhaps it's part of a tactic, as well as trying to score. But that is enough for Switzerland, and congratulations to the Swiss team, and also to you, Dominic, I have to say. 
because I'm sure you're quite delighted about that. Two wins to one. Yeah. So the, the really, really good championship and the, it's the first team title for Switzerland. So. Um, Fabulous win, great celebration. Paul Carici doing what it takes to become Team European Champions. High fives all around. Big hugs. Delighted with that win. Yeah, it's an important moment for the Swiss Karate. First team title we have in Ever? the history. Yeah. Male and female? Male and female. Superb. So, there was a we had many third place, we had second place, but never had the title. So, so. His, history made. Here in Novosad, Serbia, for the 53rd Senior European Karate Championships. Switzerland, female team, Kumite 